Hello guys, I'll be showing how to implement the camera controller in our strategy game. With it, we will be able to scroll, zoom in, zoom out, and restrict the camera inside the map. So we're going to create um, a, a mono behavior for the camera. Uh, so it's going to be part of the camera game object. And then we can assign it to the main camera. So what we're going to do, we're going to check uh, whether are certain mouse events are happening. And if they're happening, we can, for example, move the camera. So I'm thinking first, the, the first thing we can do is um, move the camera if we are holding onto the middle mouse button. To manage this, we will need um, a variable that's going to store whenever we start pressing the middle mouse button. So created a mouse scroll start position variable, which is going to store the position of the cursor uh, at the moment when we uh, press down the middle mouse button. And uh, we'll need to take the, the position of the camera. So let's create the camera variable and get the camera variable uh, from the component camera. Then we are going to take the, the the position of the mouse cursor in respect to the, the world point and store it in the mouse scroll start position. And next we are going to check if the middle mouse button is being held. We are going to be needing a variable here. Let's call it movement. And that is going to calculate how much we have moved with respect to the mouse scroll start position. Then we're going to update the position of the camera by the amount of movement. Now I can move with the middle mouse button held. Since this part of the code is responsible of uh, scrolling with the middle mouse button, we should isolate it and make it uh, an individual function. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the control M control R keys to extract a method. The next thing I'm going to do is edge scrolling. So the mouse would, uh, if the mouse is on the edge, then the camera will move towards that direction. So let's start with calculating the distance of the mouse in a particular moment to the any of these edges at the, of the screen. Next, if any of these distances are smaller than the border size, then we're going to do something about it. So let's create a series of if else if um, conditions to check if we are close to any of these edges.
we should also check if the distance is positive because if it is negative it would mean that the mouse is actually outside the screen. Then we're going to move the camera by a certain amount in a given distance. Okay, it's moving a bit faster than we expected, which is normal. We should multiply it with the time delta time. Now it's much slower. Uh, if we add um, a scalar, we can actually control the speed. The speed actually be determined by how close we are to the edge. And for that, we can simply subtract the distance to the edge from the uh, border size. Now, as you can see, closer I am to the edge, faster I can scroll. You can also add that uh, variable to control the overall speed. So now we can scroll the map with the middle mouse button or the edges, but the problem is, is we don't want to go like shoot off the map. To avoid that, we're going to restrict our camera position to a certain rectangle. That rectangle is associated with the map. So the edges of the map are also the, going to be the limits of our camera position. But at the moment, our map class doesn't have anything that gives us the limits of the, the map. So we're going to have to create a new function inside the map class that's going to return the boundaries of the map. Since we are using the topology map as the base map, we can use its boundaries as the map's boundaries. Here I find the uh, top leftmost corner by subtracting the extents from the center. And I also need the size to create a new rectangle. And that's just a single line of code. Now I'm going to check if the camera's X position is beyond the boundaries X minimum. Then we're going to limit the position of the camera to, um, uh, to the X minimum. Now I'm going to repeat this process for 
the x max, y min, and y max. Also, let's extract this as a function as well. Now my scrolling is limited to a certain rectangle. Now we can scroll around the map. Next, we're going to add zooming. Now, because we, our camera is an orthographic camera, you can't just simply change the Z position to uh, have a wider uh, view. Instead, we have to change the size of the uh, orthographic uh, camera. Simply, we're going to take the mouse scroll delta value and going to change the my camera's orthographic size by the amount of this scroll delta times time delta. And then we would like to limit this orthographic size between a small value like 2 and 10. We can also add additional um, variable to control the speed of the zooming. Looks like 50 will be a better choice here. If like in my case, you're, uh, you, need to, you might need to invert the uh, scroll delta to make it feel like it's zooming the right direction. If you have noticed, uh, the R variables weren't uh, available in the unit of scene. Um, so I'm going to make sure that we serialize. We could make them public, um, but I rather make them serialize so that uh, they wouldn't be changed by mistake by any other script. Okay, now it looks like it's everything is working, except I'm not really happy with the uh, limiting of the camera position. So um, I think we can um, make sure that the camera doesn't see outside the map at all. Um, so for that part, let's put this in a new function. This is the part of the code that um, restricts the camera movement. I think we can make sure that this is at the end of our update instead of inside the, the uh, edge scroll. Let's start with putting a margin so we can um, put a border around this rectangle so we can get a smaller rectangle inside the uh, boundaries. What I'm doing is I'm decreasing the width and height of the boundaries and also I'm going to move the start position by the amount of margins. And now you can see my camera is limited to a smaller rectangle. 
However, the problem is uh, beside because of the size of the camera, the, the, the width and the height is not the same, the margin has to be different for X and Y. And if I zoom in and or out, then the margin has to change again. So I will calculate distance from the, the last point the camera can see to the center in each axis. Okay, let's see. Yes, the camera is limited, but we made a rectangle larger than we wanted. We just need to make it smaller instead. I think all I need to is to uh, invert the margins vector. Okay, now it works perfectly. We can zoom in, zoom out, and the, we can scroll the camera and uh, restrict it inside the map. Uh, I think we can use this as our uh, camera controller for the strategy map. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe so you won't miss the next video.